Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Interstellar Transport Company. For those of you joining me for the first time ever, my name is Sabouts. For those of you returning, welcome back. What is Interstellar Transport Company? Well, it's a tycoon game. Draws a lot of inspiration from another tycoon game called Transport Tycoon Deluxe, or TTD for short. Came out in the late 90s, and there's actually a... Um, an open source version of that game called OpenTTD, which has been in development for a long time. Now, this game definitely draws inspiration from that game, which is fantastic, but obviously changes up the equation a little bit because it takes place in space. And there's also a lot of different things here that you won't normally see in uh, TTD, but I like to use that as an example because a lot of people know what that game is. So you already know that if you've played that game, you're probably going to love this one. And if you've seen that game before, then you somewhat probably know what to expect as we jump into this one. I'm very excited to show this to you guys as well because I've been following it for a long time, probably about six months now, uh, just closely watching the development. So this is an extremely exciting moment because I, I love uh, Transport Tycoon Deluxe. I played the game a lot throughout the course of my life, and uh, this is like everything I've ever wanted uh, for like almost like an up-to-date version of that game. So I do want to say that it's not like the same developers or anything, so I don't think this is like the same people. It's not. I just like to use that game as an example because it really portrays to me what it's about. So let's go ahead and start a game, a nice single player game here. I've already played the game a little bit. I've already done the tutorial. Also want to mention there's multiplayer, so if you guys want to play with people, you can do that. You can verse other people or I believe you could be on the same team. I haven't done multiplayer yet, but I will be doing it here shortly. Um... Uh, later on with some streams and such But yes, there's a tutorial. I've already done it. So I'm not worried about that I've got a little over an hour in the game just enough to make me dangerous. Let's go ahead and do new predefined game There's some custom games you can set settings and such but we're just gonna do predefined now You've got your difficulty settings here, and I don't fully know between jumping between the different ones um, the biggest thing I obviously noticed is how much starting cash you get but um, other than that, I think maybe, you know, there's just other certain events and, uh, you know, buying things and actually conducting the trades is usually a little bit more harder and harder difficulty settings. Uh, you guys know how I am. You know how I run the channel and everything. If I could play a game on a harder difficulty setting, even if I'm going to lose, uh, I want to do it and I want to try it. So we're going to go unfair and give it a shot because worst case scenario, we lose the game. <laughs> I mean... As long as I don't lose an arm or something doing it, I'm fine. Let's pick a company color. Now, last time uh, when I played the game by myself, I picked gray, and it was actually somewhat of a difficult color to see with the space background. So I'm thinking let's go with... Oh, green sounds good. Let's get back around to green. There it is. So yeah, I think we'll go green. And then for a company name, we can pick whatever we want. I'm going to go with the AI... Express. I don't know why. I just couldn't think of a better name, to be honest with you. <laughs> Let's go ahead and jump into the game. Unfair difficulty setting. See how long we last doing this. Oh, boy. Probably be bankrupt within this first episode, knowing my luck. Hopefully, that's not the case. Like I said, I know just enough to be dangerous, so... Just get in here and load up. Now, do keep in mind the game is early access, so if you guys see any bugs or anything, uh, that's just going to be something to remember. All right. Let's see. Where are we? I lost the screen for a second there. I believe I can. There we are. So, yeah, there you go. You can navigate all around, really, which is pretty cool. Zoom in and out. Navigate the screen with the WASD keys. All the different systems you can see around here. We're going to start right here in the soul system. Uh, I think Alpha Centauri is around here. Uh, I would imagine. Maybe not. I don't know if these ones are randomly generated or not, I guess. I'm going to say no because I don't see it. And Alpha Centauri should be fairly close. If it's any farther than those ones, then it's not in here. And it's not that I can see. Okay. So let's go ahead and jump right into our system. Here we go. We've got Earth. 
We've colonized it already, obviously. That's where we start. <laughs> we've got Luna, which I believe, yes, we have colonized. And we've got Mars, which we've also colonized in this game. There's other planets here that can be colonized and uh, harvested for resources. And that's something we're going to have to think about doing uh, later on. Now, this is not a tutorial. However, I will still go over the basic functions of everything I'm doing as well as everything on the screen here. So that way, uh, if you are seeing the game for the first time, and chances are most of you are, then you could learn something. And that's the most important thing. Everybody learns something. So obviously menu reports here is where you're going to find uh, different things such as income, company, net worth, and everything like that. It's the main way to check the graph for all your other competitors. You can see here that we are the AI Express, but we've got Earth Space Lines, European Space Lines, and ESTA. So we've got some competition in the game here, some AI competition. Going into finances, obviously, is where you're going to check all of your income, expenses, and such. You've got, uh, you know, your time here, pause button, the date. Hit this little arrow here. Here's your log for things that are going on. We start off with $175,000 cash on hand. This is how you manage any routes you have running and ships you want to purchase as well as ships you already have and you can manage routes from there. So what do we want to do? Well, I think the most important thing is we're going to take a look at Earth right now and we're going to see what Earth has. So Earth's got a very good supply of food water consumer goods it is lacking in raw materials and rare resources but machinery is fine dilithium crystals dilithium fuel and refugees are nothing that are going on right now here and we can see things like such as population and everything which might affect other stuff now there is buildings on here some of these we can interact with some of these give us bonuses we can upgrade them we can do stuff like that we've got a spaceport right here and that's how we are going to dock basically onto Earth to be able to deliver uh, goods and everything. So what are the first things we need to do? Well, the first things we need to do is figure out where we want to trade goods. So and and then we need to figure out what goods we want to trade and then we need to make our ships and routes. So we know we're obviously going to be starting with Earth because that's where we are. So we should purchase a gate right so let's go ahead and do that now it's going to cost us thirty thousand dollars and then fifteen hundred a month to get that gate we're going to purchase it right now because we have to do it it's pretty much the first thing we got to do we've got to own a spaceport gate next we're going to take a look at luna luna's probably going to be where we start doing our first round of trading which means guess what we've got to purchase another spaceport now taking a look at luna they've got some deficit here they've got food water consumer goods all things they need but they've got raw materials and rare resources not a whole lot but they do have them so we could pick those up bring them to earth and in return we could bring food water and consumer goods to luna now i like to make my ships more specialized and usually when i play games like this such as when i played um transport tycoon deluxe i would like to pick one good and get like monopolize it like you know i'd be like all right i'm gonna move water you know or i'm gonna move liquid and that's all i did for most of the game and I would build a monopoly on moving you know water and then I would eventually move into other industries but I wanted to be the best at one thing I could do that here but I find it's not as beneficial however when I was playing this game I did find that it did help to have ships instead of ships moving tons of goods if I had them just shipping you know two goods it was a lot more beneficial or even just one good, you know, or one uh, one cargo, I guess we'll call it. That seems a little bit more uh, fitting. So, okay, we got to get a spaceport here then if we're going to do that. So $3,000 and $159 a month, which is a lot better. All right, so now we've got to get some goods going. That's going to be the most important thing. And to get goods going, we've got to get ships built. Now, you've got a couple different classifications of ships here, and there will be more as the game progresses, but these are the ones we're starting with. We've got rockets. Now, rockets only give you a one-way trip. You can see here, um, one-time use right underneath here. So if I buy a rocket, I fill it with goods, I launch it to the, the moon, I'm going to get money for that, but... <laughs> 
the rockets the rocket uh, disappears after that here's what i like to do i generally like to build some sparrow rockets right off the bat you know maybe two or three maybe four or five of them and just launch a bunch of like water and food to the moon and that just kind of helps build up my resources well as i'm also waiting for the uh for these here now we've got the space bus and the the doing i guess yeah you call it a doing 909 and a doing 919 so kind of like boeing but not so this one's more of like a these are both transport obviously lots of different things here but this one's 20,000 that's 114 I'm not buying the 114 so we're just going to get a couple 20,000 there is the space bus D500 I consider it more of a passenger ship I mean it could move other stuff obviously but definitely feels a little bit like a passenger ship to me But yeah, let's go ahead and get some Sparrow Rockets. Uh, we do need to find out what we're going to put in these. I think if we're going to do some liquid storage, that's what we should do. So we'll throw some liquid storage and order four of them. And then we'll jump right over to another Sparrow Rocket. And why don't we get, what else needs to go, right? Some food, some consumer goods. So let's order four of those. And then while we're managing all of these as they get pumped out, they come out very quickly. It takes a certain amount of days for all of these to build, and these build really fast. So we'll go ahead and get some Doing 909s up. Uh, we'll pay for two of them. Oh, wait. Oh, my bad. I almost forgot. And I think I just lost some money doing it like that. No, it looks like I might have gotten it back. I almost forgot to equip them. That would have been silly. Let's go ahead and do half liquid. So bringing water from Earth... And then it's going to pick up, let's see, I want it to pick up metals or something of the such. So probably raw materials and rare resources would be nice, but that's over here. We could do... Something like that, right? So we're picking up liquids, we're picking up water, bringing it, picking up raw material, bringing it. Let's get one of those and then we want one more ship. And let's do just like this. And this can actually pick up raw material and rare resources. So this ship's going to be the most optimal. But I want to get some liquid ships going as well. In fact, what really makes sense is this ship should have something that I can bring both ways. But you know what? I won't worry about it right now. All right, so we've got ships set up and everything. What else do we need? We need routes, but why don't we go ahead and unpause the game and let stuff be built a little bit. Well, actually, the sparrow rockets are going to build real quickly, so let's just get the routes set up. Okay, so we're going to do a new route. The first one's going to be from Earth to the moon, and it's not going to be a return route, essentially. So we're going to add a stop. So route one, it's going to be Earth to Luna and... On Earth, we'll have it pick up water. So we got to put all of these on pick up none. And I'll make sure I name this something fitting so I know. Okay, we're not worried about that. So it's not going to pick up any of that. Then here, um, just, yeah, just load up full or whatever. Do not wait. Doesn't matter. Unload all. Yep. And then it's just going to bring it to Luna. So. All right. So that's all set up there. Now let's get another route. This one's going to be Earth to Luna, and it's going to be food. So pick up none. I think um, if I could make a suggestion, there should be a little bit more streamlined way of doing this part. Okay, but that's all right. Okay, we're going to do that, and then... 
We'll need another route, but we'll, let's see. Yeah, we'll set it up right now, actually, because we do need it. So it's going to be Earth to Luna. At Earth, it's going to pick up food, consumer goods, um, not rare resources at Earth, though, not machined goods. It can pick up liquid if it has to. Not that. Right? And then on Luna, it's not going to pick up food, consumer goods, machinery, water. I want it to pick up rare material and there. All right, so all three routes are made. Now we're ready to unpause and let the game go a little bit. And wait for our stuff to be built. The main reason for getting these sparrows delivered is because I they're going to kind of help pay for my lease while I wait for the big ships to come. That's like the most important thing because if you look finance wise, well, we can't really see anything yet. But a total profit it's down, obviously not going to be, there's going to be no profit. And once these lease, we can't see them now, but once these lease tick in and everything, I, I think it will really be able to see the damage. But uh, yeah, okay, ship, so sparrow rocket. Are they all... Okay, they all built at the same time. Good. So let's take the one. See, this one's for liquid. So we're going to put it to Earth Luna Supply. Earth Luna Direct. Earth Luna Direct. We're going to put it to Earth Luna Direct. I need to call this something. water oh crap that went over okay so here's what we'll do we'll put earth luna um direct uh we'll do lick lick like that so we know and then this i believe is consumer goods or food So we'll put FUD. All right, and then this one we know is just, this one I'm not gonna worry as much about right now. We could change that later if we need to. So, okay, we need you open route. So we, you're gonna be liquid start. Oh wait, open. Let's see. Liquid, there we go. And these ones are going to be the same thing. I think four of these are. There, and this will give you guys a really good idea on how all this is set up too. So that's going to give us our kind of like quick boost in food and stuff. starting to think that maybe I don't want this one to be liquid right now. Maybe I just want to stick with a build just like that one. So maybe I want to order a duplicate ship just like that. And I just realized I technically don't have to alter these too much because these guys can only pick up a certain amount. They can only pick up like one particular type anyway. So technically I don't have to mess with all that. Okay, let's go. Let's start. Just do all of these at the same time. We'll see how much money we make doing it like that. Actually, you know what? No, I shouldn't. I'll tell you why. I should let the resources. I should only take a little bit at a time. Just let's see how the first ones do. Let's see what kind of profit we even get. There he goes, right there. Couldn't even see because they both hit at the same time. I don't think it was a lot. Oh, I guess they all went anyways. 
Let's see how much we got. That don't seem right. I guess it... I uh, don't think that worked out. Is it, I don't think that worked as intended, but that's okay. I think I must mess something up. Oh, there's other people trading or something. No, what is that? Not sure. Well, either way, okay, we've got some other players coming in here. Are my ships almost done? Speed up so they get done. We've only got seven, six, five, so we're getting there. Okay, so let's send that one off. We already know we've got a route ready for it. It's going to be the supply one here, so we'll just start that. Oop, save it first. Um, let, let me get this one started now. Okay, all those leases hit. Okay, nothing there. Oh, you know what? I got an idea. Let me... Let me, let me switch something up. Oh, they actually need machinery on Luna. Okay, let me switch something up because I think I know what I need to do. Let me see how he, what, what he does here real quick. Okay, I, I missed that one. There was a little bit of profit there. Oh, yeah, he turned over a good amount that second time around. I just think I need to make sure it's set up so that they... Okay, here we go. No, wait, pick up none. There we go. Okay, I had it set up wrong, but we're good now. We are good now, so we're already turning in a little bit of money. We just make sure rare resources. Let's see. But Luna to pick up none. What is this? Raw materials. Yeah, I want machinery. Off. Okay, it's turning profit now. That's a lot better. Considerably better. Okay, one ship, four ships. Yeah, these ones didn't work out. It was worth a shot. We'll just stick with these. I just wanted to do those so you guys could see how they worked. But I don't like using them anyways. Like in the beginning, maybe a little bit, but... Now we'll be able to see how all that profit and everything turns over. You can see that we've, you know, gone in the hole a little bit. We may have to get some loans out for really going to start generating some serious income. How are we looking for actual finances? It says we've got a good profit, so as long as the profit's up, it's going to be the most important part. Here we are here. Yeah, and we're carrying, we're carrying stuff, so that's not a whole lot, though, when we show up. It does seem to be a lot going the other way. I have them set up right now not to wait, and I think that's going to be the best way to do it. I should get something picking up machinery then, because it sounds like they need machinery here pretty bad. They want machinery, I know that. Well, let's do machinery then. So let's, well, actually, you know what? We're out of time, so we'll save that for the next episode. So yeah, that's Interstellar Transport Tycoon, guys. We got a nice long series here ahead of us, so we're going to get a lot more time to check the game out and see what it has to offer as well as see how well we can do on this unfair difficulty setting. But yeah, 
so far off to a pretty strong start. I think what we'll do next episode is we'll build another ship to carry machinery, since they have a nice uh, subsidy going on for that, and we'll and we'll deliver machinery uh, here and see if we can make a little bit of money doing it that way. Awesome. So thank you guys for joining me for this one. I do hope you've enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.